By now, you should know that the ultimate limit of resolution of an optical system is set by diffraction, which occurs due to the wave nature of light. Let's say you have a circular aperture, and when light passes through this finite sized aperture, you will obviously see a diffraction. The resulting diffraction pattern with a bright central region and a series of concentric rings of decreasing intensity around it is known as the air disk. This essentially defines the smallest point to which um, the light can be focused. This relationship here tells us how the spot size is related to the wavelength and the F number, or equivalently the numerical aperture. As a simple example, you can see what a lens with uh, you can see that a lens with low F number produces a smaller spot compared to what you can achieve with a high F number lens. You can find more about it on other courses on Optics Academy, particularly the course titled Diffraction, MTF, and Image Simulation will be very helpful. A simple positive thin lens was designed in Optic Studio to demonstrate how the F number affects the size of the airy disk. If you remember how this airy pattern looks, you will notice that there are concentric uh, rings around a bright central spot. That means if you want to know the size of the bright central spot, you will need to measure the distance from the center of the bright spot to the edge where the intensity goes down to zero for the first time. This is precisely what is shown here. Notice the first, first zero can be seen here at 1.88 microns. This is the air radius. If you wanted to know the diameter, just multiply it by two. So um, this 1.88 micron is exactly what we can found from the relation we saw in the last page. This is the radius, so it is divided by two. Now, if we increase the F number to four, we see a spot size of 2.68 microns. And if we in increase the F number to F5.6, the spot size gets even larger. As expected, the size of air disk increases with increasing F number.